All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and start on um, the second half of the series. And now I'm just going to start working on the three sides of this layout. Um, I added a peppermint strip to the top. And then I thought I wanted to use that green, but I decided not to. And I went with a uh, missile. What is that? A holly leaf. And then I stamped um, holiday wishes right there in the um, corner of there. And I left it blank there because I did want to add some journaling. Can you believe it? I want to add journaling. <laughs> so, um. Um, in a lot of my pages they are going to have um, in the next couple pages we do they're going to be um, blank on a couple of sides because I do want to add some journaling um, here I'm just adding another peppermint strip and again I thought I wanted to use something else and I'm using those stamps that I uh, bought a couple of weeks ago well a month ago actually for um, yellow bicycle and basically it just has um, a delight in our memories is what I'm stamping on here and you guys will see in a minute that um, I stamped it once and then I'm gonna play with a lot of different things to a lot of different embellishments to see if I want to um, how I want to complete this particular uh, four by six um, piece to go into the layout um, I put the holly leaf there and then I decided um, no that wasn't gonna work later on you'll see that and then I have some embossing thread um, that I'm gonna um, put in like a floral on there but that didn't I didn't like the way that look you're gonna see in a minute I'm gonna remove that from the page um, there we go and and then I'm just wiping up the excess um, adhesive then I went with my uh, washi tape on the corner I thought that was gonna be it and then I added some um, some bling there on the side and I thought that was going to complete this uh, particular one for me but after I put it into the page protector I didn't like the way it looked so um, I changed my idea altogether and I'm cutting another peppermint strip and I'm just starting over and I'm stamping the word memories um, I'm, uh, yeah memories over again I'm sorry that's moments it's not memories it's moments and then I'm putting that holly leaf there and then I cut it a little bit so the fit into the page protector and then my camera turned off I had no idea I was still scrapbooking so here are the pictures for um, that's the one that I worked on and I end up taking a holly leaf off and putting the candy cane um, this is my title um, me and my teacher and then I put um, the next one, like I said, I did leave it empty there, Holiday Wishes with the Holly Leaf. Now we're going to move on. Um, here is the complete um, layout. And I was pretty happy with it. Um, everything turned out really well um, for this. F this is going to be the second page um, that's going uh, with this Polar Express uh, series. Now we're ready to go on to our next page and it's going to be right in the rail so here I have um, all of um, the materials I'm going to use I did find some really nice um, photo uh, sleeves and I'm going to show you I cut those in a I cut them in half and I put them inside of another uh, photo the photo page and then here I'm taking that um, I thought that, that peppermint paper looked like a train track to me so I went ahead and I hear that to the bottom now this train track I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom to an artist that um, I was just looking at on YouTube um, she took a stencil and um, some acrylic paint and it worked out perfectly on her scrapbook page and so I remember that I had that train stencil and so that's what I did I went and um, stenciled it with some black acrylic paint and it looks like a silhouette and so now that top sheet that you guys see right there is um, the paper the the um, photo sleeve and I cut it in half and um, I stuck a piece of pattern paper inside of there and that's mainly um, this particular layout is going to be very top heavy um, once I get down to my photos I only added a couple of embed embellishments to my photos um, and here I'm just adding that photo um, sleeve to the top page and then I'm adding some embellishments there at the top that string of lights and then um, I'm then I'm starting to add my title my title is from the lullaby collection um, 
is it's in red and it has like a nice glitter on top of it so it's perfect for Christmas um, the first letter is a K I cut my K to make it into like a capital R um, and you guys will see in a minute I had no idea how I wanted to place my title so I'm gonna play with my title a lot um, <laughs> That's why I had to speed it up because um, I also had family in there talking to me. So um, that's why I'm also doing a voiceover. But I had no idea how I wanted to do my title. You're going to see me move it from place to place, which is the reason why it is best not to lay it down fully until you're completely happy with the way... Um, your title looks and if you move it around this much I would suggest that you put some um, more adhesive some liquid adhesive on the back so that um, you still have the same and so now finally after playing with my title I'm happy with the way it looks and I'm gonna go start adding some more embellishments to um, the top and I thought I wanted to add some uh, washi tape then I decided I didn't like the way it looked, so I took it off, and then I added another green um, note strip, and now I'm going to add some more string of lights there at the bottom. And that's going to complete the first, um, the top part of our layout. Okay, so now I'm just moving those dots down. I had them right there in the middle, but anyway, um, that completes the top, and we're going to move on to the photos. Now with these photos, I really didn't have an idea of how I wanted to lay these photos out. Um, here, I'm layering um, some of the papers, some of the scratch papers that I used at the top of the layout. Um, I was thinking that I wanted to use, um, you know, incorporate them into my photos, but then I decided, once I put it into this little photo, photo sleeve um, I wasn't happy with the way it looked so um, I end up taking all of that off and then from there I started playing around with the peppermint paper and um, the photo sleeve um, then also um, the washi tape that I had pulled out uh, to use um, just various things I started to um, play with um, as far as to embellish my photos then I just decided that I wanted to use the peppermint strip and also the green chevron and then I had a um, snowflake so um, I put that on there with a string of the lights and that's pretty much the embellishments that I use for um, my photos and then I'm just going to slip it in the photo tag. Now, I did have another photo, but it has another um, little kid in there. And I didn't want to put anyone else's child on, um, you know, on my videos and stuff without their permission. So anyway, um, then um, this is going to be in the middle of my layout. This is an all-boy stamp. I'm not sure who it's made by. I got it a couple of year years ago. Um, but it just says... Um, the best thing to give a child is good memories and I thought that would be perfect for um, the train ride and different stuff like that so pretty much after I stamp this this is gonna complete the layout I hope you guys enjoyed it and join me for our next video bye